look at the question, um, if we didn't know what tests we're performing, we can see that the question asks, is there a difference? So we know we're doing a test of difference, not correlation or anything else. So, so we're asked for the levels of smiles between Muppets and humans. So if we're not told, then we assume that these two are independent, meaning that the number of smiles by Muppets has no effect on the amount of smiles humans have. So if we jump into the, the data here in Jamovi, so we've got a, a group column uh, indicating which data is for humans and Muppets, and then we have happiness, which is the number of smiles here, and this is continuous data. So the first thing we want to do is check for our assumptions. Because we're doing an independent t-test, we need to check for both homogeneity, which is the variance in data, as well as normality, meaning how normally distributed the data is um, in the population or in our data set. So if we click both of those, we'll get, uh, if we pop these in, so the grouping variable is uh, the two categories, humans and Muppets, and the dependent is what you're measuring, so the number of smiles or happiness. So if we look at them one at a time, so we've got homogeneity, and this is done through Levine's test. So simply what we're looking at here is we look at the p-value, nothing else. If this value is above 0 0.05, that means the data has homogeneity and is normal, and we can continue with our t-test. Furthermore, we also need to check for normality. And similarly, if this is above 0 0.05 in a Shapiro-Wilk uh, test, then the data is normal and everything's all right, and we can carry on with our t-test. However, as we'll look at into in uh, future videos, if this isn't correct, then we use the man we knew, and we'll move on. If any of these uh, doesn't meet the assumption, then we move on to the man we knew. But here, all, life is good, and uh, the data meets the assumptions. So if we click off these, so what we have right now is uh, kind of half the story. So we've got the statistic, which is the student t, the degrees of freedom and the p-value. So the p-value is really important because it tells us if the data is significant or not. So is there a significant difference between the mean number of smiles between Muppets and humans? And if this value is below 0 0.05, then the data is significant, as it is in this case. So then we need to add a bit more depth into our answer. So we look at the mean difference. So here we can see uh, depending on which way around the data is, that one of the groups has 50.4 more smiles than the other. And you can see the standard error here as well. But to give our answer depth, uh, we need to add the confidence intervals for, for the mean difference, uh, which, which I should see in here. Uh, to, be, to be a bit extra, we can also add the effect size, which is Cohen's D for parametrics test and R for non-parametric equivalent in uh, such as the man we knew. And if it's above one, then it's usually seen as a large effect. And it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative um, in this case. So we've got this uh, here, and this is, this is all good. So this is all you need to answer the question. But we also need to add some descriptives to give our answer that real fullness to it. So here we have our groups, humans and Muppets, and then we can see the, the mean number of smiles. So here we can see humans have 50.4 less smiles than Muppets. And because this is parametric data, we report the mean and the standard deviation. If we were doing the man we knew, we would do the median and then the range or the interquartile range or the variance. So we've got all our data here. So now we just need to put it into words. So if we go back here, uh, not this one. Uh, so it would look something like this. So, so the first part, you kind of you talk about you add your descriptives. So in your answer, you could write uh, independent t test to make your answer really stand out and uh, know what we're doing. So the happiness in the humans, and then you you would write something like the mean and a forty eight point three nine point nine nine as was in the data appears to be lower compared to Muppet. And because we already defined then the first and the second number, there's no need to do that again. So we just write, write our mean and standard deviation for Muppets. Then um, you, talk about, you talk about the actual test that we did. 
So you would say this, so this is one way of saying it, you could phrase this however you want as long as you got all the data in there. So I usually go for this difference, brackets, um, minus 50.4, uh, which is the difference between these two means. And then you write 95% uh, control interval, which is this value here. So you basically just copy that over. And then you write the two values in there. And then you write uh, if it was or not significant. So in my case it was. So we write was significant t uh, equals 28, which is the degrees of freedom here. And we know it was significant because of this p-value, which we just copy across. And then you write your t-statistic here, minus 13.1. Then you, if you want to be a bit extra snazzy, you can write the effect size. And this will seem to have a large effect size of minus 4.77. And this effect size value basically allows um, other papers to compare your results to theirs and see how much of an effect they had. So this is the, base, the basic way uh, of doing what, one way of doing an independent t-test in, in Jamovi. Thank you.